as Sean here. Little weekend project. Probably wondering what the hell is it? Well, it's uh, basically a big food dehydrator. Um, I'll be using it to uh, a as a drying box for my fireworks compositions and stars and different things of that nature. And I may even try and dry some food in it. We'll see what happens because uh, I've always wanted to build a big food dehydrator because I don't want to spend two to three hundred dollars for the dehydrator that I want or need so if I can build one why not right but uh, yeah I had some uh, old half-inch uh, plywood here some scrap stuff uh, it wasn't the prettiest as you can tell and there's a couple nice pieces the bottom was pretty nice but all in all it's not the prettiest so there was no point in putting a super nice lacquer finish on it or anything, so I just uh, spray bombed it and came up with this uh, funky pattern, I guess. can't really call it camo, but whatever. It doesn't have to be pretty, it's just got to work. So, um, Basically how this is going to work is there's going to be heat uh, pumped into it via a ceramic heater. I found one at a local store. It's fairly small. It's like... Um, what is it like uh, 750 watts on low and I think a thousand watts on high so that should be more than enough but uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna build a base on this I've got uh, 27 inches to work with from here down to there so I can squeeze about a you know about two and three quarter inches more out of it um, so I'm thinking if I build the base build my box up around the back here have the heater back here that it'll blow in be forced underneath come up through the bottom which I'll have to put a screen in here and then the air will come up like this come up through it and when I get my door I'll have to put some kind of vent in here that's adjustable kind of like a wood stove door um, so I can adjust how much heat is escaping um, then I've got to build a bunch of screens now originally I wanted to use these screens but I just didn't have enough scrap so um, it's cheaper for me to build the new frames with some uh, aluminum screen or stainless screen or even this galvanized screen because I've got all the material here to do it except for the screen so um, they'll well, where's my tape measure and the screens will measure let's see here will probably be about 14 inches because the door is going to inset flush to the end of these uh, spacers or these rails and that will allow enough airflow through the bottom and then the front to the back so maybe I'll go 15 inches I don't know yet I haven't got that far but anyway um, that's what I've been working on, so I gotta get busy and cut all the material down for my uh, trays. So what's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So nine trays. It'll be about an inch and three eighths tall. Maybe inch and seven sixteenths because this is inch and a half. So we'll see. But Anyway, let me know what you guys think, and if uh, you guys have ever built uh, something like this, let me know. Uh, I'd love to see some pictures of it. Uh, I've been searching the internet. found a couple drying boxes, um, but uh, again, uh, <laughs> I didn't have all the material to do that with, so we'll see how this works. All right, guys, take care. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.